Hmm, how would you join a piece of leather to a piece of wood? Well, glue might do it. Okay, so let's mix in plastic. Glue doesn't work awfully well on that, especially on the floppy kind. And for good measure, we'll add in a bit of metal too. We have to join them all together. Well, there are lots of ways you could do it. You could tie them together or wire them together or even use a nut and a bolt. But what about an old-fashioned method? It's not so popular today, but it's very effective. And that's the rivet. These are rivets. People use pop rivets today with a little sort of gun, but this is the original variety. And a rivet is a bit like a nail without a point. And on top of it goes a washer. You put the washer on the rivet with things in between them and biff the rivet until it clamps down on the washer. That's the way it goes. Let's have a look and see how it's done. First of all, let's take a rivet and stand it up on a really hard, strong base. This is a metal anvil. Then we'll start, I think, with the piece of metal, especially drilled to, prepare, to take the rivet, put it over like that. Then let's join on the wood, then perhaps the bit of leather, and finally the bit of plastic. That's a fairly healthy looking sandwich. And about that stage we take the washer and shove it on. And when you finish it, the rivet should poke out about that distance. If it's too long, it'll bend over. If it's like that, you can crimp it with a hammer and it'll clamp down on the washer. Here goes. Use gentle blows to begin with, and that'll stop it uh, going sideways. But as it crimps down on the washer, you can get a bit harder. And that should do the trick. You can see it's really tightly clamped on that, and it's uh, squeezing down on everything. And on the other side, the rivet head is hard up against the metal. It's permanent, it's waterproof, and it's effective. Now that I've made it, what on earth am I going to do with it?